I want to talk about oil and gas prospect risking. So when we are evaluating a drilling prospect, there's three things we want to know. We want to know what's the chance of finding oil and gas, how much oil and gas will we find, and how much profit will we, will we make when we produce oil and gas. So these are the three things you need to do, but we're only going to be talking about number one today, the chance of finding oil and gas. So we call that prospect risking. And it can be complicated and technical depending on how much data is available. And so who does it? Does the geologist do it? The geophysicist? Or the reservoir engineer? So either one of these specialists can do it, but it's better, depending on the data available, it's better to have a team effort so everybody agrees on the risking. All right, so what is prospect risking? It's determining the chance of success chance of finding movable hydrocarbons and we usually call it P sub S probability of success or PG geologic risk sometimes those are interchangeable you can have other probabilities like probability of being commercial but we're not going to talk about that right now all right here's a sample prospect on a 3d seismic structure map so there's a lot of data here we have a prospect up in the northeast corner what do we have the data? We have some offset wells that we have logs on and production data on. We have time contours from the seismic data that tells us where the high areas of the reservoir are. We have the seismic amplitude with the brightness and colors. And it could be direct hydrocarbon indicators. And we have our prospect located on the map right here with the black star. And we also have a producing well down to the southwest. So that's a lot of data. Other things we can have is like a seismic cross section. It shows where the prospect will be drilled on that high area. It shows the structure. All right, so we have a lot of data. So we use a five factor method. The first factor is reservoir rock quality rock. Do we have it? Do we have a seal for the hydrocarbons? Can they leak out? Do we actually have a trap that we can map and determine and make sure it's really there? What about the source? Do we have source of hydrocarbons in the area that could expel the uh, hydrocarbons and they get trapped in your, in your prospect? What about timing and migration? Is there migration paths in this area? What about the timing? Did the migration happen before the faults and traps were formed? Did, you know, you have to, you have to risk all those items. So how do we determine risk factors? So it's pretty subjective, but we have to look at the quality, quantity and quality of the available data. And we could have this little matrix that kind of helps us. So like the risk factor in percent here on the left, and then the outcome would be like virtually certain would be a high risk factor or high chance of success where virtually to absolutely impossible would be a low uh, factor. So this gives you a little guide on how you can rank the different items. All right, so we have to evaluate each risk factor, the technical team working the prospect. All right, so here's a sample little matrix that documents our findings. So we have reservoir quality rock, and the team feels that it's 80% chance that you have good rock at the location. And we have some comments here. Then you have to look at the seal. What's the chance of the seal? And that's a high probability in this case. The trap, which we know there's a trap because we have a down dip well that has pay in it. And the source, we give it a 100% chance because we do have nearby fields, so there must be a source in the area. And then the migration and timing is a 100% chance. So anyway, these numbers could be from 0 to 100. So you have to estimate them all. And then you multiply them together and you get the overall chance of success of 72%. So that's the answer. Now, some of the next steps you could take, uh, well, we have 72% chance of success, but some of the next steps you could take, you could try to determine how much oil and gas or hydrocarbons will we find. That, that has different techniques for that. What is the chance of a commercial discovery? And what are the economics look like, risks and unrisks. So these are things you can do. But right now, we have the results of this prospect risking is it's a 72% chance of finding movable hydrocarbons. So that's how you do it. 
Hope you find that interesting and informative and just please call me if you have any questions.